Monica Rambeau Photon is the name that they're going with here. Not Spectrum, which was just the name back in Thunderbolts. There's a lot of honoring past work here, specifically from the writer, E. Viewing. She wrote Ironheart. The Stone of Hala was mentioned. She wrote a Marvel team up. Yesario Dos, Ro, Rosario Dawson. Yesania Rosario, Doctor, who was there, first appeared there. And uh, thank you for making that comic book a little bit more valuable. I am rewarded by picking up comic books involving this writer. Yeah, we know that all comics in Marvel, so long as they're in the 616, it's all canon. But are they really? How many of those stories really get furthered? I'll give you another example of a Marvel team-up. Captain Marvel and Ms. Marvel had issue 4, 5, and 6 of the very same run that they were mentioning here. How much of that stuff was really mentioned? Ronan the Destroyer and all of, and that whole alpha group that they had, if you read those comics, were kind of not mentioned during the Kree Skrull Empire events. Carol Danvers and what Kelly Thompson did with that never touched on that comic. It was very irrelevant, very irrelevant, very, very relevant. This one, they says, hey, yeah, past work matters. You know who does that? Jonathan Hickman does that. Donnie Cates does that. It doesn't matter if he's writing Venom. It's going to tie into the Thor stuff. It doesn't matter that Silver Surfer was being written by him. It's going to tie into the Thor stuff. And the Hulk stuff tied in with the Thor stuff. And, and we just build and build. That's the qualities of continuity, in which I am in favor of. The story itself felt like they were doing a lot of fixing and repairing. Hey, check it out. Monica used to go by the name of Captain Marvel. Remember issue number 293 of the Avengers? Oh, no. You, don't, you didn't remember it? Cool. We'll break it down for you. She fought this dragon. She was out of commission. She felt like she lost her powers. Major moment in her history. And they wanted to let the new reader who didn't know about that before reading this comic book, they wanted to let me know the actual... Sorry about that. They wanted to let her know about her fictional biography because it is an issue number one. But then they also do more stuff like they let you know that she's got a dad (laughs) and they let you know a lot of things while juggling sort of continuity there was no climactic ending in fact she just kind of goes off into space oh but they did do enough to tackle some of the shortcomings of this character in issue number one so it's not a waste it just it wasn't the ending i preferred i'll show you the final page right now she just goes off into space and we're like, oh, I guess she just needs a breather for a second. It's, I mean, which is the point? You're not going to ever have an ending that goes, oh, she needs a breather. But I wanted a cliffhanger, and I didn't get that here. I'm still along for the ride for the next four issues of this comic series. But I will talk mostly about, on Friday, when I do the Photon Friday live stream, when I invite, invite some people on here. It'll be at nighttime, probably around 11 Eastern, probably around 8 o'clock Pacific p.m. Roughly around that time, I'll be doing a a stream. We're going to chit-chat this comic book with a couple of panelists, with a couple of guests, more than one, more than a few. And you'll get a full breakdown, full spoilers, full everything there. That's why this is going to be short, and I hope to see you then. Goodbye and good night. I was going to say, go Morocco. I can't do that anymore. I can't end streams. I I can't do it. Don't do drugs.